Okay everybody and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to step through how we utilize the AWS AppStream image builder. Now you deploy and utilize an image builder when you want to host your own applications. That might be an internally developed application that you want to keep hold of the source code for and keep control over that. It might be a, a Microsoft built application like Project or Visio that you want to deploy to your Mac estate because Project and Visio natively won't run on Apple Mac. Um, it, it could be any myriad of other Windows application that you want to be able to deploy to remote users across, across the globe. It's worth knowing when we install images on our AppStream image builder, we need to configure and install them for a multi-user environment. So that could be things like activation and licensing, uh, settings of the initial application, certain things like that. If you're used to or have worked with Microsoft Remote Desktop or Citrix and you've deployed uh, applications in that sort of environment, then, then this will apply and, and it will be a native sort of experience for you. But it's worth knowing that that's, you, you need to be aware of sort of a multi-user configuration and, and, and for your applications and for the desktop. And I can step through those sort of things as we create the image builder as part of this course anyway. Scripted is always better, so when you are building your AppStream image builder, it's worth having a repeatable process, a repeatable uh, image, so that you can refer to that, so that you've got that version controlled. So if you have problems with your image or you need to be able to update it or change it in any way, you can simply open a new image builder, run the script and have that completely automated for you. So uh, at a later point in this series, there will be an, uh, a video around how we do the scripting for this product so that uh, you can get on with building your images in a repeated fashion. Uh, before we go into the console, actually, I'm going to set a challenge. Um, if we go and have a look at the console, you'll note under images and image builder, it's here that you can launch your image builder. Give it a go. Log in, launch your image builder, put it in its own VPC, connect to the image builder once it's started, try and install WinZip. Um, and then we're going to publish Internet Explorer and WinZip from that machine. And then we're going to seal the image down and snapshot it ready for fleet deployment. So I challenge you guys to go and give that a try. There is this document here and here's the URL that you can utilize to go ahead and follow that from the default or the, or the Amazon provided documentation. Um, I'll click on that link now and here it is here, how to create your own custom image and the steps involved. And then once you've given that a go and you've kind of learnt all, the, all there is about it, I'll step through in the next video how we're going to do that and we can go through that process together. So I will see you in the next video when we start the demo. Thank you very much and I'll see you then.